with her, took a bronze medal at the Grand Slam last time, World Championship bronze as well, that's Moon Jae Sung, the man in the middle, which woman's going to come out on top in this one, hardware test as you can see, and the testing times for protector and fighter, well this is the first time it hasn't worked, a few too many kicks there, yeah there's obviously Relatedly coming up there, the body kick and the head kick working on the blue side. If you've just tuned in, don't worry, this isn't how the fight looks. This is just the hardware test. The testing time is going to come now in terms of the fight. Vietnam in blue, China in red. <laughs> when Ren Yun Tao, the tall and imposing figure. He came to enter wrong. World Championship silver medal. Also got close to the Olympic qualifiers as well. Good fighter. Competed in the Youth Olympic Games, but competing strongly here is Wen Ren Yun Tao. Using that front leg to good effect. The punch comes round the corner. The judges like it. Nice little cover to the back of the head there. So both fighters. Very much awake and alert in this one. Yun <laughs> Tao circling, holding that minor lead as the arm is held in the for Truong, trying to draw the attention to the referee. Takes the attention there with the head kick instead, goes for another one for good measure. Well, the arm guard may have come loose, but she certainly let loose with that head kick. 4-2 now. Vietnam on form. Truong in the lead. <laughs> Wen Ren Yun Tao on the back foot, just waiting, looking for an opportunity. Strong has been really good in this one. Nice hook kick round the corner to the body for the Chinese fighter to no avail though. Big chop kick this time it lands for Wen Ren Yun Tao. Just in time it was a big punch as well on the way through. No love from the judges. Loving the efforts there of his athlete, but tying it up was true on in the last seconds. Pulled it to parity at five all, covering the back of the head as both fighters retreat to their respective corners. Tough round. Lots to fight for in this one. All tied up. to give you a little preview of the action in the second session which will start probably about an hour and 30 minutes time we'll give you a little read on that in a moment it will of course be the women's 57s and the men's 68s a few top class fighters in amongst that Bradley Sinden of Great Britain he will go in the fourth contest against Wang Jin Yu of China that will be followed by Jung Young Wai against Jade Jones. An all Croatia battle between Maria Stetic and Bruna Boletic. The women's 57s will kick it off in the second session as we kick it off here. The second period. All tied up in round one. Truong and then Ren Yun Tao. The shorter fighter has been the more aggressive, no question. Tries to work in behind that leg, gets a flick to the face so close. <laughs> 
twisting kick in the inside, attempted from Truong. Just showing you there, it's not just about who's got the longest legs, it's who can turn their physicality to their advantage. Disappointment as well, a bit of a pantomime boo there. It's Christmas season after all. Oh no, it isn't. Oh yes, it is for that one. Try to score the punch. The only thing for Truong, a lot of the times when she gets the head kicks going, she does it in the clinch, so often she's behind you. Last 50 in the second, punching the way through. And Rin Yun Tao finally gets one on the board. Decent attempt at the head kick, more than decent in fact. Laps at home, power punch as well. When Rin Yun Tao turning on the quality and indeed the cover generates the gam jump. Yoshi very happy with that one. Back leg to the body, missing from Truong. It's not too long left. Tries to stretch out the leg there, Truong, but we're into the final stretch of this one. Ten seconds, in fact less. The buzzer awaits. Good quality fare from both fighters, but set fair for a third and potentially decisive round. When Rin Yun Tao gives herself the advantage, puts herself within touching distance of the quarterfinals. Crucial times in this classic crunch battle between China and Vietnam. Under the lights here at the Grand Slam in Wuxi, and Wen Rin Yun Tao, the home fighter, has that one round lead. And a roundabout way, he's been the better of the two. Truong has been aggressive. The Vietnamese fighter trying to stay on in it. But just that little bit of quality in the end making the difference. from Wen Rin Yun Tao, drops it under the outreach leg of Truon. No scores on the board, but punch just missing, headshot doesn't, walks right into the front leg. Can Wen Rin Yun Tao keep marching towards the next round, punch will help her. minute here. Gam Jong gives Truong an opportunity. We know how good she is to the head in the clinch. Can she get there? Another well, Gam Jong given for the low kick. Wen Rin Yun Tao restores that four point lead. 45 to go. Punch on the way through with a left hand. Good from Truong. of Wen Rin Yun Tao. Left an opportunity. She's taking it, lovely head kick there. Excellent timing from Wen Rin Yun Tao. Lands it clean and clear and puts herself in the driving seat now. 
she's got one round in the bank. Can she get out of it early? Credit to Tronk. She's fought right to the finish, but finishing with quality and finishing with style. Wen Ren Yun Tao runs down the clock and leaves Tronk gasping and chasing her around the map. Excellent stuff there for Team China. Into the final. Team Tronk, Vietnam tries her best. But it's Wen Ren Yun Tao. To the victor goes the spoils and into the quarter final she goes. Can't say fairer than that. And that of course completes our penultimate battle. We're on now to the last matchup in this session. China and Thailand already. Wuri Dong against Ramarong Sawakwiri. And the men's under 58s. So we're now going to get a chance to watch Thailand against China and the women's under 49s. They're getting ready for action here. This will be the last action of this session.